So what's up everybody? As you can see, this is a watch battery changing video. Just give you a little bit on changing your own watch batteries. It doesn't cost that much. If you go to certain places, some places charge more than others. But if you have it, you have the stuff at home, why not do it yourself? Now, these are two fossils and an Invicta. Invicta. So we will be changing the batteries in these because they stopped working. If the bat the battery, if the video turns out to be a little bit longer, we'll just do the Invicta first and then do the fossil after. So if we have time, we'll do the other fossil. We'll see how far we get with it. You know, it's just a quick little tutorial on changing watch batteries. But before we get into all that, and we have our toolkits here, but and this piece. In order to change the batteries, I just like using this on the screw backs. It's better than the one that comes with the little kit, this thing. This thing works, but that's just so much better. Anyway, before we get into all that, if you guys would help me out and be given in this given season and give that thumbs up, give that subscribe and subscribe to the video so you can see more and more videos like this. We'd so, so appreciate it. Let me just get my screwdriver set over here. I put it someplace. I was supposed to put it on the desk with everything else. Anyway, if you would do that for us, we would really appreciate it so everybody can get these videos out here. So as you can see, this is an Invicta watch. It's a homage watch to a different brand that's much more expensive than that. So I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain to you what watch it looks like and is like. I was going to wear it the other day. I haven't worn it in a while. And it wasn't working. Now... If you're sizing the watch, you're going to want to take out the pins to change some of the bracelet, some of the links on the bracelet. As you can see, there is arrows. If I can get it to focus right there. It tells you which direction the pins will come out because you want to go in that direction. I have this little pencil right here I'm going to use. I usually use the other one, but we'll use this one for now. So you just loosen it. Line it right up there with the pin. Because it's just so much easier to do it. Sorry, I have a cough drop in my mouth because my throat was a little bit scratchy and I started coughing during other videos. So you just line it up in the hole, screw forward, and the pin comes out. And like I said, it is so much easier to work with this. As long as you don't drop the pin in the thing to hold the watch. Just put your pin to the side. The links come apart like so, so it's so much easier. And then you just figure out which way this best holds the watch. I guess we can do it like that because of the chronograph. It has all the buttons, so it's a little bit... It doesn't just slide in there like so. So you just line it up because it is a screw back. So most of the time, the screw backs are waterproof and to a lot more bars than a regular watch that has the pressure back. Just line it up. So it fits in there, you just keep turning it until you get a nice snug fit. Then you can turn the screw back on it. It is quite tight. There we go. Just give it a little elbow grease, a little bit of muscle, and it will come out. We do have the grease, speaking of elbow grease, we do have the grease to put on the gasket, so you make sure it is still waterproof. If the gasket's in good shape and very pliable still, we will just leave it there. If not, we will change the gasket as well. It looks like we're probably going to get to just two watches, because this is quite long and I don't want to go too crazy into it. We'll just save the little black fossil over there and we'll do that off camera. And we'll 
we'll do the orange and black. It's a much quicker one because you don't have to take out the um, actual um, bracelet because it's just a rubber bracelet. The other one does have a cloth or NATO. That is easy as well, but you got to fish it through the thing and everything. So, get my screwdriver over here. Just take and remove the plastic little ring over here. So it's just easier to get. Well, you don't have to do it, but it just makes life easier. Then you can pop out the battery with the screwdriver as well. And this is really hard from behind a camera, just to let you guys know. You can look at the number on there and pair it up with the battery. I have the batteries on the side. Hopefully I have a battery for this. Because if I don't, this is going to suck. <laughs> I took this whole thing apart for no reason then. And there we go. I'm pretty sure this one will fit. Yep. Yep, that's it. So you just slide in the new. Like so. And as you can see, the second hand is ticking away. You just want to push everything down. Put on your little plastic holder. And the rubber gasket is coming off, which I said we wanted it off anyway, so that's all good. So let me just take this out of camera for a minute so I can do this up close. Because like I said, it's a little bit harder when you're doing this from the other side of the camera and looking at it. And this plastic ring it's kind of hard to get in there. It has to fit in there just right because of the shape of everything here. And there we go. The plastic is in there. Let's check out. This is definitely still a very pliable and good gasket. It's not dried out or anything. So. Just take a little bit of the gasket grease over here. You're gonna put some of that on there just to make sure and get a good seal and it's all good. So you're just gonna put the grease around the actual gasket like so. And wipe off your hand on a tissue or something because you're gonna be working with the watch. So you don't want to get grease all over it. I mean, you could just clean it, but it's better to just not do that if you don't have to. Place the gasket back into the groove. It may take a little bit of finagling. I used to work for a watch store, if you watch some of my other watch videos, so you know. So I've done this numerous times. So I'm old hand at this, or old hat. I'm going to start screwing it in here. I mean, you don't have to use this plastic piece to hold it. It will work without it. I'm not going to set the watch now because, like I said, the video is getting quite long. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. I will put in the pin just because I don't want to lose it. And then we will move on to the fossil. So you don't have to get a super tight, but you definitely want to get it somewhat tight. <sighs> there you go. And like I said, check out where your pins go. Make sure, just making sure it was still moving. 
Do you want the together part of the pen or where the thing goes to go on the opposite side of the arrow this time? You can just push it in like so and boom. There is a tool over there to remove the pins. This works just as fine. And just use the rubber part to secure your pin back in and everything is moving and grooving. So I'm gonna put that to the side so I can set it later. Make sure I do not keep the dead battery. Like I said, this is a rubber one on this one. So you don't have to remove it, but it does have the quick remove because Fossil, you can go to their watch bar and change the straps. So if you're looking to get a different needle or whatever, they definitely have it. And guess what? A lot of your fashion watches that are a hell of a lot more expensive are made by Fossil. So guess what? You can get basically the same watch for a hell of a lot cheaper. Just saying. And I'm not going to say those brands and blast them like that. Because when you work for a company, they tell you all that jazz. So I'm pretty sure I changed this one before. If I remember correctly. I have a lot of watches, so it's sometimes hard. So like I said, you do the same thing. You can get that out of the way. Your gasket is on here. It's not on the groove. And you pop out your little plastic ring there. This one's a lot easier than the Invicta, the plastic ring, as you can see. And you can get your battery out. You just pop it out with the thing. And like I said with the other one, hopefully we have that battery. And I did soon take apart the watch for no reason. Because like I said, that would really be bad. And guess what? I don't think I have that battery. So that is actually kind of funny. But you get the gist of it if I don't have the battery. So I will be marking this battery down and we will be getting this battery because I don't have the battery. So it did lessen the video a lot less. So or the time of the video. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you appreciate it. Hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please hit us in the comments below so we can get to those questions. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Okay.